is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we do have some brand new wwe mattel elite figure news for you guys we have releases confirmed series apparently from toys and mask.com as well as a couple buddies that sent this to me i want to give a huge shout out to at real one xd on instagram as well as official underscore nww and of course at dylan's underscore wwe underscore figures on instagram for sending me all of this info i appreciate it so much guys for them of thinking of me sending it my way but toysandmasks.com says that this is confirmed elite series 76 and 77 so we're going to go ahead and dive right into it guys as you can see on the screen elite series 76 is up first we of course are not on elite series 76 we have elite series 75 and then 76 following that one and elite series 76 right here says john cena braun Strowman, heavy machinery tucker heavy machinery otis lacey evans and christian which is the chase variant now very important things right here for the John Cena figure, there's only one more attire that we have not gotten as far as updated John Cena. You guys know the navy blue and red and black attire that he wore, and he surely wore it. It was like the worst t-shirt design he's ever worn. Very awful looking. That is what I feel this figure will be, and if it's not that, then it will have to be a flashback Cena, which I'm all hyped for. You guys know I'm a huge Cena mark, so I think that uh, regardless, I'm going to be hyped for it. Any John Cena is good with me, and it's cool to see them continuing to push him out, even though you know he hasn't been on TV in a while I think that's really awesome so I am looking forward to that John Cena as far as Braun Strowman guys goes I, I don't know I, I'm not really feeling it this set as a whole isn't the best set I don't think uh, like as I step back and look it's not the greatest set but it is cool to have some first time in the lines in here, and I think it's going to be great. But Braun Strowman, um, I'm afraid that it's going to be very similar to his other elites. You guys know that Braun Strowman, all of his elites we've ever gotten have pretty much been identical. I mean, I could, I don't think you could really say much about them besides a minor boot paint color. Uh, you know, the, the pants have been tweaked a little. Uh, his Elite 44, first elite, you know, was a lot different because he, you know, he had the hair all over his head, and then he switched to the Mohawk ponytail and stuff. So, I don't know. This is, uh, this is going to probably be just some uh, some random attire that he's worn. I would say that it'd be cool to see some different pants. Maybe the red ones with the Timberlands that he wore or maybe they'll actually switch his boots and give us Tim's with uh, black pants or something. I'm not sure, but that is what I would guess for Braun Strowman. For Heavy Machinery Tucker, we already know what it looks like. I mean, we've seen the render a few times, I do believe now, so we know what Tucker looks like. We know what Otis looks like. Both of these guys look pretty good. I think they look great. I'm afraid of Otis's articulation. Doubt he'll be able to move around very much, but it is cool to see at least of these guys and they look great the render images look just like them i don't think they've been on television for a little bit now so i guess that's kind of crazy but heavy machinery tucker and otis look pretty good and we already know what they look like and this is actually the same case for the next figure, which is Lacey Evans, her elite, we saw back at Comic-Con with Otis and Tucker, I do believe, and we did see her as well, and she looks great. I think this is when we saw, you know, uh, Mandy Rose, this is when we saw Kyrie Sane, this is when we saw Becky Lynch, and all of those ladies look great, and I think that this Lacey Evans figure will probably be the, the same. You know, I'm not a fan of Lacey Evans, but I think that her figure is probably going to be pretty badassery. Uh, I enjoy her boots and everything, and the way the women's figures have been releasing lately, they're fantastic. Kyrie Sane, Becky Lynch, and Natalya were were freaking amazing. I loved them. So I am really looking forward to this Lacey Evans as far as that is considered, how good the women's figures are. You guys know we're getting Mandy Rose with Elite Series 75, so uh, it seems like we're getting a really good women's figure every single series, so that's pretty cool. I, I enjoy that. You know, we can slowly knock out our trash basics of the past with these new women elites that are coming forward. And then the last figure in Elite Series 76, guys, is going to be Christian, which is the chase. Now, this is very interesting. We did see a San Diego Comic-Con uh, digital render of Christian with him in the brood attire and so I'm wondering if we are going to get like an edge in Christian Christian and then this Christian for the brood or I, I'm not sure exactly what we're seeing here with the chase variant the chase variant you know the only chase variant that we've seen that has been sort of a flashback and a current date has been Shelton Benjamin which was the first ever chase variant and so uh, I, I don't know if we're going to get you know a flashback and then a more modern Christian or if it's going to be both flashback or whatever I don't know I guess we'll We'll have to just see about that. Maybe it'll just be a pants color change. I'm sure it will be instead of them retooling the whole thing. We haven't seen that just yet, but I guess anything is possible. We're going to have to just find out what they decide to do for this Christian figure, but I am excited we're getting that new Christian, and I'm hi I'm hyped to see what the Chase variant looks like once we finally get there, but that is what I'm thinking for all of Elite Series 76 as far as that is concerned. 
But that is not all, guys. We also have Elite Series 77 confirmed right here with the full wave, as you guys can see there on the screen. And this is going to actually be the SummerSlam wave for this year. So we're not going to be getting four figures, you know, like the Royal Rumble set or the Survivor Series set or like in years past with the SummerSlam wave. We are getting a full wave of SummerSlam figures, just like Elite Series 68 from last year with Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns and Brie Bella and all of them. This is the exact same thing for this year. If you guys remember that Mattel Q&A we had with Bill McKenna, he did talk about there being a full wave of SummerSlam again this year, and that is what Elite Series 77 is going to represent right here. Uh, really good set right here. I'm really excited for this set, and I'm going to go through and tell you what I think it will be for each figure. I think for AJ Styles, it is going to either be SummerSlam 2019 or SummerSlam 2018, and either way, I think this figure is going to be bomb. I think this is going to be really, really nice to see. I liked both attires, uh, so I think that the, both of these are going to be really, really great. I cannot wait for it. Um, I think that any... You know, I, I'm sure it'll probably be the same AJ Styles head scan we got with Elite Series 74. I could be wrong about that. That is just what I would guess. I don't know if we're going to get a new head scan in the future for AJ Styles, at least uh, that soon. I mean, I guess it's three Elite Series, so I guess they would change it, but uh, there's no telling what it could be. I mean, I'd be fine with the same one, but by that time, Elite Series 77 rolls around. Who the hell knows? Uh, but this is the figure that everyone is hyped for, guys. Elite Series 77. We finally know that it is going to be Bray Wyatt the Fiend. We are finally getting getting our Fiend Elite figure here in Elite Series 77. For the SummerSlam wave, if you guys remember, he did debut the Fiend at SummerSlam, and he is looking great. I did take a digital render, if you guys remember. We did get a digital render, render at Comic-Con. I took that and I edited it, which is what you're seeing right here. I edited it. It doesn't have the tattoos on it. It is also missing the praying hands decal on the uh, on the torso there, but I did want to color it up, see what it kind of looks like. I think somebody's done this before, but I did my own version of it, and it doesn't have the tattoos or anything, but we can see here that this figure is going to be bomb, and I think it's probably going to be 2020 figure of the year. I'm sure it will be. I can't wait to see how the sculpt comes out, what parts choices they use. I think it is going to be including the entrance jacket or, you know, the, the entrance jacket. I don't think it's going to include his lantern, unfortunately. Maybe we can get that down the line, but uh, I think it is going to most definitely include his entrance jacket. And I think they're trying to do the lantern. Um, I think I heard on the rumor mill that they are trying to get the lantern pumped out, but uh, it is not confirmed yet. It is to be announced. So hopefully they can get that lantern done. If they don't, I think the entrance jacket is probably his only accessory, which is still bomb. You know, we want the lantern, but I think it'd be okay just to get the Fiend Elite with the entrance jacket. So that is going to be an epic figure. I can't wait for the Fiend. It's going to be excellent, man. Freaking wicked, nasty farticles over here. But the next figure in it, guys, is Ronda Rousey. And we did see a render image of this in the black attire. Really strong looking figure. I am actually a fan of this. And uh, this is going to be a nice Ronda Rousey to go up next to our Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey. But I don't think anything can replace the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey, guys. Probably one of my favorite figures that Mattel has ever made, which is kind of funny because you guys know that I always poop on the women's figures, but that figure right there is just a gold mine. I freaking love it. It has tight joints. It can do everything you want it to do. It's it's a beast. It is a beast. So uh, this figure is going to have to do a lot of work to replace that Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey, but uh, I think it's going to look good anyways. The next figure is Viscera, and we did see a render image, and we actually saw the prototype at the wrestling shop uh, little event they did for, uh, you know, Mattel, and it looks pretty good. You know, it's probably going to be very similar to King Mabel, except it's going to have that big uh, droping, like, or drope, drip, drip, it's going to have that big, you know, uh, coat going over the, it's going to be one big solid rubber piece over the torso, probably going to be very, uh, you know, hard to articulate, but I know that my boy Christian from Unstable 1047 is going to be hyped for that figure. Uh, it's kind of cool that we got King Mabel in Elite Series 68 with the full SummerSlam wave, and then Viscera for Elite 7. Maybe they're going to pump out a different Vistara slash, you know, Big Daddy V uh, for, you know, Elite Series 87, 86, or 88. So that would be pretty cool to see. Maybe they'll do it now. I mean, if we've made Vistara and King Mabel, I don't see why we couldn't do that anyways. But the next figure, guys, is going to be Ravishing Rick Rude, which we did also see at San Diego Comic-Con, I do believe, in the render images. Great looking figure, great looking head scan with the colors and stuff. Also a SummerSlam figure, obviously, and this looks bomb. He is also the Chase variant, so I'm not sure what attire he is going to be after that. But nonetheless, I think that Rick Rude's going to be very strong. Can't wait to see what the Chase variant is. Rick Rude had a lot of great attire, so I don't think we can go wrong with Rick Rude. I think he's fantastic, and uh, he, he's going to look good. So I'm very hyped to add another Rick Rude to the collection. We also has uh, have Elizabeth, and 
and I'm not sure which Elizabeth we are going to get, which is kind of crazy. This will be our third Elite Elizabeth in the history of Mattel. You guys know we got the TNF Elite. We also got the Elite Series 16 or 19. Can't remember if it was Elite 16 or 19, but we are also getting another one here, which is kind of ridiculous, and that's going to be crazy. So we're going to have three different Elizabeths, and I don't think I've ever owned the other two. So I guess this will probably be my first one, unless I just want to track those down for the review to do a comparison. But we are going to finish up Elite Series 77 with that Elizabeth and uh, it's going to be cool to see all these figures, man. I think that Elite Series 76 isn't near as good as Elite Series 77, if you want me to be honest, even though it does have John Cena in it. We get some first time in the lines in there. Christian as the chase. I don't think it can hold a candle to, you know, a nice AJ Styles. The Fiend, I mean, what do you do? Ronda Rousey. We get a Viscera. I mean, this is a really strong set. So uh, I think that Elite Series 77 takes the cake over 76. But both uh, waves are pretty bomb. And then we do have some new base. Basics confirmed right here, guys. We have a, a Basic Series 107, 108, and 109. Uh, some notable names in 107 is Bianca Belair, which is really, really nice. Not sure what we're going to get out of Braun Strowman, The Rock, Shinsuke, or EC3. Maybe some new head scans will make those sets a little bit better. For uh, WWE Series 108, we do have a, a AJ Styles Chase. We have Roman Reigns, Aleister Black, Angelo Dawkins, and Montez Ford. Very hyped for their basics because I would really like elites of, you know, the Street Profits. So hopefully we get elites of those down the line, but we do have their basics announced right here. Hopefully we get a new Aleister Black head sculpt. I'm not sure exactly what they could do because both of his head sculpts have been phenomenal so far with his NXT figure and his Elite 73. So I'm sure it'll be another bomb head sculpt for Aleister Black, but it seems like every figure has a good head sculpt nowadays for the most part. I mean, we do get our crappy ones, but for the most part, I mean, they're pretty dead on with the true effects. And then for Basic Series 109, we do have Ricochet, Seth Rollins, Becky Lynch, Undertaker, and I'm not sure what the last name is, but at the top you can see Johnny Organo, so I guess he's a part of Basic Series 106. Not exactly sure, but I think that is about it for all of the WWE action figure news, guys. Two Elite Series confirmed with some basic sets as well, and I think they're pretty solid. And we already know that on Elite Series 75, we have Seth Rollins, Jeff Hardy, Pete Dunne, Mandy Rose, Hurricane, and what's the last figure in that set? Gonna drive me up the wall. What is it? Pete Dunne, Jeff Hardy, Seth Rollins, uh, Mandy Rose, Hurricane, and Kalisto. So there you go. Elite Series 75, very strong set as well. You can go pre-order Elite Series 75 if you'd like over at Ringside Collectibles. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. But I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Great action figure news going on here, and uh, it's going to be excellent. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below what you think of the render image of The Fiend. What figures are you most excited for? Let me know down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.